Josh here with the St. Louis Science Center, the Science Off Center team, with another experiment that you can try at home. Now, because of the recent Hurricane Irene, I decided to do this experiment because it has to do with convection, which is a very important concept in hurricane formation and all other sorts of weather. So in order to do this experiment, you're going to need a clear tub, and I, fill, and I filled it with warm-ish water red food coloring, and blue ice. Now I made this blue ice just by taking water and mixing it with blue food coloring and freezing it overnight. All right, so the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna put the blue ice on one end and the red food coloring on, an, on the other end and see how it interacts. So watch carefully. So notice how the blue food coloring is almost immediately going down and the red food coloring is almost staying on top. So remember the red food coloring is going to represent our warm water and our blue food coloring is going to represent our cold water because it's coming from cold ice. And now once you see the red food coloring get all the way over to the ice, it's going to cool off and then you can see it going down. This is a process called convection. It happens almost in every storm and in every weather concept that you can imagine. And you can almost even see a little swirling. And right here you can see that red food coloring creeping across. That's almost like a cold front coming along. Because remember that red food coloring, or now purple, hit that blue ice. And if you notice here, that blue food coloring is just going straight down, remember, because cold water sinks or cold air sinks, and uh, warm water will rise or warm air will rise. So this process of convection, warm air rising, cold air sinking, or in our case, warm water rising and cold water sinking, is actually the beginning process of any kind of weather system. So that includes the storms or tornadoes that we see here in Missouri, or even the hurricanes that they see out on the coastlands. So try this experiment at home and let us know how it works.